गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो फ्रॉम इंडिया इन डीड माई नेम इज जिंक एंड आई एम अ कंप्यूटर सिक्योरिटी गाय एंड आई नो वॉट यू पीपल थिंक अबाउट द कंप्यूटर सिक्योरिटी गाइज सो द कंप्यूटर सिक्योरिटी एक्सपर्ट आर द वन हु आर ऑलवेज टेलिंग यू द नो नो यू कैन डू दैट नो यू कैन यूज दैट सर्विसेस नो यू कैन नॉट सिट दैट न्यू थिंकिंग यू कैन बाय and use that devices not in our network so i am sick and tired of telling people no so i have decided to change the way i'm working and from now on every time somebody come and asking me whether they want to do something in our network or start and enable some new services and start doing something new and that the time i will always say yes yes that's okay yes you can yes but yes but because of, because of course we have to take computer security into considerations in everything we do but we can't let it the security slows down we can't let it the security keep us down because we all are working on the internet we all are working on at a very high phase of innovation and we can't let it the security slows down so we should be thinking about security is an enabler security as an enabler and security is what enable us to do what we want to do So my first question to all of you now are you really safe on the internet yes or no okay why you are not at all safe on the internet please tell me privacy right right now your aadhar card means your retina or your fingerprint is attached to your aadhar card your aadhar card is linked to your bank account and there are a lot of mobile phone companies providing different kind of facility like face recognition and fingerprint sensors right and we people using it because we want digitalization and at the same time mobile phone companies knows everything about you they only want your aadhar card number and they can access your thing so you are not at all safe on the internet and you know what human being operates on trust we trust continually throughout the day without even a second thought we trust the people we pass on the street not to attack us we trust the driver not to hit us we trust the food in the supermarket not to make us sick right and we trust the other people not to attackers and there are lots of services you have no choice but to trust you trust the company that trust your operating system like microsoft or the apple you trust the cloud services you trust the email services that handle your data there are lots of services you have no choice but to trust and the government of the countries those companies are from any of them has the capability to support your information and take control of you then my next question is to all of you now Please tell me what is the biggest lie on the internet? What is the biggest lie on the internet? What is the greatest scandal on the internet? Yes. What is the biggest lie on the internet? Sorry. Privacy. Okay. And the biggest lie on the internet is that I have read the terms and condition, I accepted the license and agreement, and I know people lie on the internet. And how do we know this? Because we haven't read the terms and condition. we do not treat the terms and conditions in what we did okay how do we know this because you set up a free internet hotspot in mumbai region and we provide the free internet to all the users who accept our terms and condition and our terms and conditions mention that using this kind of wifi you have to give your first born child baby to mr ajinkya <laughs> and if you don't have a child we will take care of your favorite pet animal and at the end of the day all the people will click okay like what the hell is that so please read the terms and conditions carefully before accepting anything and you know what we people share our information with different platform right we share our personal information with facebook we share our professional information with linkedin we share our biometrics with the isp and the sim card provider and at the end of the day people talking about security and privacy and privacy is just non negotiable thing privacy is just non negotiable thing then my next question is to all of you now what is iot from your perspective what is iot are you sure it's internet of things but from my perspective iot is just like internet of insecure thing why internet of insecure thing because right now your stupid devices is also connected to the internet like your washing machine your kitchen scale why your washing machine needs an internet connection because every single manufacturer every single designer create the cheaper and cheaper product because they only want you they only want you data because data is the new oil data is the new uranium and we people share our informations with different platforms right now 
get back to the antiviruses. How many of you think that antivirus software really work? I don't think so. Because in the underground hacking community, there will be a lot of the people who will argue a lot of the times that the antivirus companies created their own viruses, spread on the internet and selling your account information. One more thing, recently the Israel Institute of Technology collected the new viruses, ran against the malware detection engine and the very first initial stage, the antiviruses only detected 5% of malware. So what about the 95%? Because everyone is just doing a business, right? Nobody is taking care of your security. Nobody is taking care of your privacy. And always remember one thing. Privacy is just non-negotiable thing. Privacy is just non-negotiable thing. That's it. Then next one. Do you know anything about the deep wave? All of you heard about the deep wave, dark wave? Yes or no? So basically, in the normal Google Chrome browser, you can access only the 0.5% internet. Right? Right. But if you want to access, 99.9% .9 illegal kind of activities you can access through tar browser. So basically in the dark net you can hire a hacker only 400 or 200 rupees and they can easily intercept anybody's social media platform. Number two, you can buy a drugs. You can do a lot of illegal activities. Raid room is there, Mariana Web is there and the assassination killer. You can hire a shooter. So if you want to access the dark net and many more activities, most of the people they are using it this service. This is like Tor, or you can use it the different sort of VPN services, right? Now next one, how many of you using like uh, mattresses? I'm talking about mattress, mattress, smart mattress. Do you know anything about the smart mattress? This one, right now, now you have each and every single device is connected to the internet, and each and every single device is connected to the internet means everything is vulnerable, everything is hackable. So basically, smart mattress made in Spain. There are a lot of sensor inside the smart mattress. Then they will have an app, means if you are outside your home and if your bed is used in a suspicious way, the healing app will warn you if your bed is used or not. Like what the hell is that? <laughs> means your privacy is also connected to the internet. Means your partner isn't faithful but your smart mattress is. <laughs> and right now, right now, engineer busy with such a kind of stuff, right? Right. Nowadays, everybody's talking about the AI, AI, chat, GPT, BARD, and other tools, right? Everybody's talking about the AI. Once the like, chat GPT was introduced now, people are searching for like, how to kill my wife in five different ways. <laughs> Seriously, man, please, please write, like, you know, they are searching for, like, please create the bomb for me and please tell me the ingredients. Or please create a novel for me and act as a criminal and kill my wife in five or ten different ways. And many of the like, bad, bad hackers are there, right? These, these are all are the open source tool. The chat, BD, bar, you heard about the mid journey and the mid journey, right? You all heard about the AI. One more thing, artificial intelligence can't work without your data. Artificial intelligence can't work without your data. And in the future, we don't need the musician. We don't need the editors. Because with the help of AI, with the help of artificial intelligence, you can do anything. And recently, the Google research team released one research paper. You heard about attention is all you need. Do you know anything about it? Which ended to the generative AI, right? So with the help of generative AI, you need to send the contents to the, uh, you need to send the contents to the algorithm and they will provide, they, they will pre predict the futures and everything, right? It's not about the AI. It's not about the like chat GPT and machine learning models. It's all about the computing powers. Computing powers up to two years later, the next evolution, only the quantum computers. So with the help of quantum computers, you can find out the solution for the cancer. You can find out the solution for the AIDS. You can predict the stock market. You can predict the future, right? Now, next one. Uh, do you know anything about the ransomware? I'm talking about the ransomware virus and the worms. Yes? Okay, so basically, recently, the Russian hacker, okay, let uh, get, get back here. This is like ashleymedicine.com. Okay, how many of you use the dating application here? Social media platforms, right? Facebook, Instagram, and all. So basically, recently, recently the Canada government created a website called AshleyMedicine.com, and the slogan of Ashley Medicine is very clear: "Life is short, have enough here." What? Ah, right. Life is short, have enough here. Means if you're a politician, if you're an actor, actress, and if you want infidelity, you can join AshleyMedicine.com, and at the same time. The, like there is a hacker group, they can intercept everything and post it on the public platform, including your photos, videos, and everything. 
So always remember one thing. Once your account compromised now, everything is compromised. And whether you like it or not now, each and every single device is spying on you. And B people carry those smartphones everywhere, right? B people carry those smartphones everywhere. Now, uh, ransomware. Okay, so how many of you were using LinkedIn in 2012? You all are 2021, right? How many of you were using LinkedIn in 2012? So if you're using LinkedIn in 2012, you were hacked. Well, you weren't hacked, but your information was stolen from LinkedIn because LinkedIn was hacked in 2012, and all of you know this guy, right? Who is he? Sorry, not, huh? Mark? Okay, so Mark Zuckerberg had an account on LinkedIn in 2012. So recently, the, uh, the database, I checked, and I checked the Mark Zuckerberg LinkedIn password, and by the way, Mark Zuckerberg LinkedIn password was da, da, da. What? Mark Zuckerberg LinkedIn password was da, da, da. And he wasn't using da, da, da at his password on Facebook. I'm guessing he was using da, 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 da at his password on Facebook. And to make worse, to make worse, Mark using the same password almost everywhere. And all of you know he's a smart person, right? How busy is this? He's a smart person. And smart person make mistake like this. In many cases, we did the survey in which we ask people about the, the password uses. And when we ask people about the password uses, people say they only use one password. And they say they only use one password. It means their password manager only have the one password. And they used one password almost everywhere. And this is really a stupid idea. So don't use the same password everywhere. Now, next one, ransomware. All of you know about like uh, popcorn ransomware, this one? Okay. So basically, a Russian hacker made the ransomware called popcorn. What? Popcorn. So basically, popcorn ransomware infect your system, encrypt your file, and ask you to pay 1,000 euros. Means if you want your files back for free. And if you want your files back for free, they will provide the URL. And you need to infect two of your friends. What? You need to infect two of your friends, and you will get all your files back for free. So just imagine the victim is a home user and who doesn't have 1,000 euros, and his memories have been infected, like holiday pictures and everything, and he wants them back for free. So first victim doesn't have 1,000 euros, infect two more victims. Two more victims, doesn't have 1,000 euros, infect two more victims, like goddamn dinosaur. And it's very hard to angry these kind of people. So how to protect yourself from the ransomware? Always make backup of your data. So how to preserve your security and privacy? Number one, always turn on the notifications on have I been pawned, so you can check your account has been compromised or not. Number two, this one. If you want to check your account has been compromised in some data types or in some data breaches, you need to try this website. This is like how I have been pawned. Okay, so you always turn on the notifications on how I have been pawned, so you can check your account has been compromised or not. Number two, don't use the same password everywhere. Number three, always make backup of your data. Number four, don't connect any hardware devices to your laptop. Right, and one more thing. Technology changed everything, right? Technology changed everything. Just think about it now. During 1980s or the 1990s, it's very hard to connect with one another, right? But nowadays, you can connect anybody in the world with a single click. In those days, we store the cash in the bank. Still we do. Now we have a bank, but we don't have a cash, right? So we are having the multiple options here. Like the, uh, you heard about the digital currencies and the cryptocurrencies. We have a Dutch coin, we have a Bitcoin, right? And right now, everything is connected to the internet, means everything is vulnerable. Your oven is a computer, which makes things hot. Your refrigerator is a computer, which makes things cold. Your camera is a computer with lens and shutter. Then your ATM machine is a computer with money inside. Then your smart bulbs are the computer that shine bright. And always keep in mind, Gmail is the single system sign for whole internet. What? Gmail is the single system sign for whole internet. Everything starts from Gmail, everything ends with Gmail. Gmail never deletes all your email. So you can still find out your eight year back emails with using Gmail. Now, how hacker makes money with your data? So basically hackers sell your information to the other hackers and they can compromise your business email accounts. One more thing. The login page of every single online store, the login page of every single online store has a magic button. And the magic button says, I have forgotten my So if you're having a good password, no matter. So always remember one thing, never start your email ID with your business name, with your own name, right? Everything changed because of technology. Now, next one. Uh, do you know anything about the car hacking? Yes or no? 
car hacking. I'm talking about the car hacking. So in 2017, the two security researchers took over the control of Jeep and car, and they did it from the 15 miles away through the internet-connected entertainment system. So basically, hacker used the third-party application to turn on the air conditioning, turn on the like you know wiper, and eventually kill the engine. But this was just a demonstration. This is not a murder attempt. And why these kind of scenarios happens again and again? Because at their core, everything is connected to the internet. Then my next question is to all of you now. Is Google doing a great job? Yes or no? Huh? Is Google doing a great job? I think Google products are excellent. Their services are excellent. I just wish I could pay for them with money instead of with my privacy. Right? Google provides the 86 plus services. And we people are using it because we want digitalization. And once the data breach happened now, you can find out your own informations through normal Google Chrome browser. And if you want to find out the more and more informations, you need to visit the dark net. And you can find out your credit card number, you can find out your username. If you want to purchase a credit card, if you want to purchase anything, you can directly purchase it from the dark net. Then, always keep two things in your mind. The security properties of computers and smartphones will become the properties of everything. And second is that, all the lessons you learn from the computer security apply to everything and anything. We already seen too many revolutions, right? We seen the first day of revolution, like uh, every single device took online. Now it's time to see the second day of revolution. After five to ten years later, now internet is just like invisible thing. You can access the internet with high bandwidth. No need to pay a huge amount for the data storage, and it will happen. I'm damn sure, sure about it because technology change. Everything and nothing is impossible. You can do anything with the help of technology. Okay? Thank you so much.